Today is Saturday, the 25th of February, and I've been playing with my new bandsaw on where to put it. I can't go all the way back to the wall in case I have a piece of long round stock going through the center of my lathe. A couple things. Uh, I need to support it on the back side for one thing. Then, if I put it over here where I was planning, and I really got a limited amount of operational clearance, and then if I put it here, I have enough clearance to get through the blade with anything I'm going to be cutting without getting into the lathe. And it weighs 1,500 pounds. I found that out. Instead of setting it direct to the floor, which pretty much makes it hose to try to move again with any kind of accuracy, I went ahead and set it on some two by fours. And of course the floor is pitched here going to that drain, so I had to shim it. But it's real stable. And more than level enough is within the lines on the center of a, a uh, level. And that's good enough for a bandsaw, especially one of this weight. Nothing's going to be in a bind. So that'll work. So I'll front, back, left, or right. It's level. I got a level of bed. It's been cocked. Uh, good news, bad news. I emailed uh, Powermatic, and they had the manual for this thing in the archives but it's no longer parts supported manuals 58 pages so i went ahead and printed it out also ordered one from ebay but it's only like 26 pages so something ain't right uh like i said it's no longer parts supported but they sold all the parts for these things to an outfit in georgia so i'll reach out to them on monday and just touch base and see if the major consumable parts are still supported somewhat. The castings, probably not. Wheel, rubber parts called a tire. Okay. These tires uh, from the manual says they were vulcanized on at the factory and if they have to be replaced back in the day you'd send back the entire wheel assembly and they'd send you out a replacement that they'd already revulcanized the tire to so that's no longer an option uh, gearbox or transmission this is what i've been draining the oil out of up in there it takes vactra number one and that is about an antique oil. It had been around since the 1930s. And uh, I looked and looked and looked for a one gallon jug because this thing takes three quarts. I looked and could not find a one gallon jug. A five gallon jug costs almost as much as what I paid for the entire machine. So, <clears throat> did some cross referencing and what I decided upon is a full synthetic 7590. That's a little heavy for that application. But being that it's full synthetic, it'll handle the compressive load of that gearbox. And all it's doing is turning the drive wheel for the blade. Uh, so I think it's going to be okay. I uh, did not go with... I just dinosaur oil. I wanted to go with a full synthetic. And it will not attack uh, brass parts in case there's brass bushings inside that transmission. So we'll see. Uh, if I'd bought that five gallon jug of Bacter number one, that would have lasted me probably oh, 20, 30 years. Uh, didn't want to go there. No reason to. 
and my back is screaming today and I don't know what I did yesterday but this thing been talking to me bad it's downright uncomfortable so I'm trying to take it easy uh, I just keep on playing with my new saw doing nothing heavy even moving it, it it wasn't heavy work I got a fork truck main thing was strapping it down so it don't fall off the forks and I did and it didn't here's how the floor turned out I'm thinking pretty good should be sealed so if I get any oil on it from the lathe or eventually the mill uh, it won't soak into that underlayment self leveling product so got a little bit done anyway that's about all for this one thank you